Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Carly and this is my channel Soulscape. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're a subscriber. Today I have a quick video to show you everything that I made this month in October. So I'm just getting over a case of the sniffles so I'm a little stuffed up so I'm sorry if it drives you crazy. I feel a little bit like Phoebe and Friends in that one episode where she becomes a, a singer and has the sexy voice but it's really not that cute when combined with mucus but I guess that's that, hey? So today I'm going to show you everything I made in October. So I ended up sewing four garments and I love them all. Some of them were easy, some of them were more difficult and I had a really good sewing month this month. After September I didn't sew, or in September I didn't sew a lot for myself. I sewed mostly for my youngest and I did a lot of like refashion projects where I was doing a lot of mending, not too much like sewing for myself. So this was a really good selfish sewing month where I got a lot done and I have some really cute things that I want to wear in my wardrobe. So I'm going to talk about things backwards from how I made them just because my first two things of the month I actually filmed so they're on the channel so I'll save those for the end so I'll show you the most exciting stuff first. So the first thing that I'm going to show you that I sewed was this super cute sweater that I made. The pattern that I ended up making was number 120 so it is this hoodie right over here except I shortened it so it was only two inches longer than the waistline so I shortened it to the two inches and then I added an inch to add an elastic casing into and then my seam allowances so it ended up super cute really cropped I love it with a pair of jeans or with a little skirt it's very cozy while still like nipping in my waist and making me look really kind of that hourglass silhouette. I find this time of year it's just getting to be the time where we want to like throw on a hoodie around the house or if we're running out and I feel like a lot of times hoodies make me look just like a giant box and like that's okay. Boxy is a style but sometimes I want to you know look snatched right? <laughs> so I love this hoodie. I made it out of a crushed velvet. I actually picked this up at the thrift store, I got it at Value Village, but they sell it at Fabricland. I ended up getting a steal of a deal. Last year I made one of my friends a lovely house coat out of crushed velvet and it was very Disney villain-esque and it was lovely. So I had some fabric left over. So I ended up making this sweater and then I'm hoping to actually get down a pair of little matching shorts. I have just under a meter left of it. so. We'll see how far that goes and if we can even just make a really short pair of shorts only to wear around the house because I love the idea of a matching velour set maybe even like a little skirt how cute would that be but shorts are better for me around the house because I'm cleaning bathrooms and picking up after kids and so I'm hoping to get those sewn up maybe the end of this month or into next month sometime I thought oh if I had a couple days left in October I would sew them up and add them to this collection but it just didn't end up happening. I should mention everything that I made this month is from the October issue of Berta Style. So I love it, it was an awesome issue and I found there were lots of things as I was going through that I'm like, oh I wanna make this or I'll make it next year. But the next thing I made was this super cute pinafore. I made it, it was the mini dress 118 here. This is the picture, look at the cute dogs, I love it. So I made this from a thrifted corduroy that I found at Valley Village, same thing. And I used a lining that I also thrifted. So this is a petite pattern and a lot of times I can make petite patterns because my bodice is shorter than Berta usually drafts for. So normally I have to take about an inch out of you know, the top half to make everything sit and really like sit at my true waist. I found this was high, but I look at the picture and it seems to be like more of like an empire waist that doesn't really sit on her natural waist either, but maybe it's because neither of us are really supposed to be fitting into petite clothes, but you never know. Either way, it is really cute. As I was sewing this, I'm like, oh, I'm feeling very precious about this pattern. So I was putting it off a little bit because 
I feel very much this is like a very friends inspired dress, a very Rachel Green would wear this as she was going into the coffee shop and it is really cute. Um, I love to wear my little lacy top under it, but in this video I just have um, a red turtleneck under it. It is quite tight so I have to put on um, something that is quite form fitting under it, but I love it. It works great. The only problem is the lining ended up being a little short. The fabric was just like really floaty. So I don't know what happened, but it ended up being a little shorter than the dress and I don't want to shorten the dress anymore. So I am leaving it unattached from the skirt. I'm not sewing the two hems together, but I didn't finish any of my seams on the inside because I'm like, oh, it's fully lined. So somehow I'm going to have to tack or sew in that lining just with a like invisible hem. Um, so that the seams don't start fraying. The stretch corduroy, it doesn't fray, so I'm not worried about that, but I'm worried about the lining just like the polyester melting in the washing machine just shredding into a tiny little Barbie-like hair fibers. So, um, yeah, I'm going to kind of tack that down. It's gonna have to be a couple inches higher just because when it's pulled all the way down to the bottom hem, like I had them attached before, it was kind of pulling up on the the bottom of the hem making the skirt look funny so I'm gonna do that and I think that's gonna be really good but until I have to wash it I'm just gonna wear it um, floating free I guess the lining that I used is a yeah a polyester content of some sort but it's not that slippery so when I am wearing tights I find it sticks a little bit so I have to use kind of some anti-static spray in order to keep the layers from attaching to each other but I find at least it doesn't make the corduroy stick to my legs because that's really what would drive me crazy. This is a petite pattern so I made a size 20 at the top which is like a half size so like if you normally make a size 40 you make a 20 and then I graded out to a 21 at the hip and really I could have graded out probably an extra half an inch just to give me more ease around the hips but it works out fine and it doesn't catch too much especially because it is a stretchier corduroy fabric. Another thing I made this month was this little mini skirt. So if you watched my last video, you'll see I actually did a little bit of a sew along, a little bit of a sewing vlog about making this skirt. So I made mine out of pleather and it is so cute. I love it. So I ended up making a size 42 at the waist, grading out to a 44 at the hip. And it ended up too big. I should have just listened to my gut and did a size 40 going to a 42 at the ends. Or grading to a 42 at the ends. But I find a lot of my pants this time of year are getting a little bit tight. Just like as the warm weather get, goes away and we're kind of a little more stagnant with our exercise routines. So I made to make it a little bit bigger but it ended up being too big. So I had to go back in and add two little mini darts into the sides of the waist and it looks a little funny which made me have to take some stuff off the belt but now it fits perfect it fits like a dream and honestly I want to wear this every day it sounds ridiculous but I've never owned like a pleather mini skirt before I've had a couple like pleather jackets but never something that you like wear indoors and I love it I think it's really on trend I wish it you know, I wish it was acceptable to wear it every day, but it is so cute. I love the little belt on it. I find it really cinches me in now that the belt actually fits in the right place and not kind of like hanging across my lower belly before I did the adjustments. And um, yeah, I lined it. The lining went really well. I had no kind of funny business tacking it down or anything like that. It sits awesome. I'm just worried about having to wash it. Someone said that they've They've hand washed pleather before, so hopefully that works. I'm planning on doing that just once it needs to be done. I don't wash my clothes like a ton. I find like my tops and stuff, I have to wash them after everywhere. But if it's like a dress and I'm wearing something under it or a skirt, I, you know, probably wear them quite a few times before I wash them. I just kind of hang them in the closet, let them air out and I don't want to put any extra strain on my clothes that I don't have to because I want to wear them years and years down the road as long as they fit and as long as I can alter them I will be wearing them so yeah the only thing that I omitted on this pattern is there's supposed to be two buttons that go on the side of the the belt loops I didn't add those because buttonholes in the pleather 
and it was like so many layers of it, I got a little worried that I was gonna make a mistake and I didn't have enough to fix it if I did make a mistake. So I just omitted it and I think it looks great. What I ended up doing, I just tacked it on the underside of the little like kind of belt hangy things. Here, I have it right here, I can show you actually. So the belt sits like this and so right here I just kind of tacked these sides down on the underside where there is supposed to be kind of a little button that goes right here. So yeah, that is so cute. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. I love it. And I will probably wear it with what I am wearing now, which is the next thing I made this month. So the this was the first thing I made this month and this was my Britta for Beginners episode for October. So I hope you guys watched that one. This is, here let me find it in here. How could I forget? It's the cover model. So gorgeous. So I ended up making this in a size 40. It's awesome, I love this kind of collar. It's not like a true, well maybe it is like a true turtleneck, but it doesn't like fold over. Well, you could fold it over. But I just like to kind of wear it like this and then like tap it down. And then it kind of makes it look undone and a little messy, but it's super cute. I ended up making it um, from this Ponty that I got from Fabricland a couple of years ago. I totally forgot about it. I don't tend to wear a lot of white because I am a hairstylist and I like to get hair color all over myself. So I find that like black is pretty safe, dark colors, lots of prints. It hides the, the toners and stuff like that that sometimes will like splash back at me. But now I'm getting really good at wearing an apron when I'm working. So I'm wearing a little bit more white and using some bleach in the wash just to kind of make things look really bright. And yeah, I love this fabric. It has enough structure to it that it kind of sits off the body a little bit. It kind of gives more of that boxy look, but it's soft enough that like, you know, on a fall day, I just want to wear it and be cozy. And I find like the, the sleeve length is great because it, um, I could do the dishes and stuff and roll up the sleeves and they're good to go, which is great. I find myself a lot of times, like I run really hot, so when I'm working or working around the house, I get really sweaty, so I can't wear too heavy of a sweater. I also like to keep my house pretty warm, so I don't have to dress very warm inside, and the salon that I work at is very warm, so I don't have to, I don't have to dress too warm. Normally I don't even wear a sweater when I'm working and I wear something that doesn't have sleeves just because I'm working hard when I'm at work and I'm working hard when I'm at home. The sewing loft gets a little cold so that's when I'll kind of put on my little hoodies, my long sleeves, my turtlenecks and, and some slippers and I'll be good to go. So yeah, I made a size 40 in this and the only alteration that I made to the pattern was I made the sleeves shorter. I found the way that they were sitting, it looked like not intentionally short. I found it looked like I made a mistake and everyone knows that I sew my own clothes so I don't want people to be like, did you forget to make your sleeves full length? Cause I have done that. See, people aren't even thinking that, but like because I think that about myself, I'm projecting that. So yeah, I love the length that they're at. Um, it's a really easy pattern to sew, a really great sew along. So if you wanna watch that video, please click, check it out, and maybe sew it along with me. You can make it out of a um, woven fabric or a jersey fabric. So it's awesome. I'm planning on making this again out of, you know, a, wo a woven fabric, something that isn't stretchy, and seeing how that looks. And that is everything that I made in October. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned because my November sewing plans will be coming out really soon. Everyone's getting their November Berta magazines and I'm so excited to get mine. Mine's been coming a little bit late lately. So I'll be patient and I will wait for it and I will share that with you guys next time. Have the most wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.